There's a control on your radio that you may never use at all. Yet it's a control that can transform the reception on your radio and make listening and communication so much more enjoyable. Let's take a look at this mystery control. Yes, there's a control on your radio that's probably rarely used. It's the RF gain control. But it's put there for a purpose. It's not put there just to make the radio look pretty. It has a function. And if the RF gain control is used correctly, it can improve the quality of your reception and the pleasure of your reception. It can also reduce noise, actually, which is uh, rather interesting, isn't it? So let's first take a look at the function of the RF gain control and then look at how you might use it in perhaps a better way to make reception somewhat more pleasurable. The receiver side of your transceiver has an awful lot to do. So we'll, that's your transceiver over there. It's got a lot of work to do. But the signals coming into it are very, very weak. Minute signals. And before it can start processing them in a proper way, it really needs stronger signals. So we have the RF gain section there. And that, that job of that section is to amplify those signals so that they're like that. Then the transceiver can process, process them. But most transceivers are fitted with an RF gain control. So you can control the amount of signal amplification and therefore control the level of the signal going in to the receiver. But the receiver is also fitted with an automatic gain control, which we know as AGC. And the job of that is to feed back to the RF gain section and control the amount of gain. So if we advance our RF gain control fully so that it's getting maximum amplification, the job of this AGC is to then throttle the RF gain control back as need be in order not to overload the receiver. Now there can be a problem with the AGC. If you're in a location where there's quite a high level of noise and who isn't in that situation these days, what actually happens is that when the AGC receives a signal that is strong, it throttles the gain back. And when that signal disappears, it opens the gain again. Now, it does that fairly rapidly. And in fact, it can actually do that in pauses of speech. So if you listen to a station and he has a pause or just a break in between words, the RF gain will start to increase. So what actually happens is when there's a pause in speech, the gain comes up and increases the noise. And then when the guy starts to speak again, the noise is suppressed because it's, the speech is higher than the level of the noise. So you tend to get a sort of a pumping action. It may not be obvious it's a pumping action, but what you're finding is the noise is coming up and down in between, in between speech, uh, speech breaks which really is not the sort of thing that uh, makes most comfortable listening. Now, all transceivers have what we call a noise floor. It's the noise that is inherent in the transceiver. And we can represent that with a just a sort of a wiggly line like that. That's the noise floor. In a modern HF transceiver, it's negligible. It has no real problem at all. Now, if we receive signals, they're obviously well above the noise floor. And they're like that. That's your big, thumping, great SSB signal. No problem at all. But you've also got the noise that is peculiar to your location. It can be local noise. It can be general background noise for further afield. It's noise. That noise is going to be, say, it's about there, which is, we'll call that... S6. Some people would say you're lucky to get S6. 
we've got an S6 noise level there. Now the RF gain control when it's flat out is amplifying that signal but it's also amplifying the noise. Now if we can re reduce that S6 noise level down to that point then we've got rid of the background noise that we get in pauses in speech. So what we're going to do is we're going to we, we're going to turn our, our RF gain control, this gain control here, we're going to turn it anti-clockwise. We're going to reduce the RF gain. And what we're going to do is we're going to pull this noise level down to there. So we've got rid of that S6 noise. We'll also reduce this signal, of course, but it will still be well above the new noise level we've created, so it'll be something like that. So when there's a pause in speech, you just hear very little change in noise. There's nothing that comes up because we've reduced the noise level down to that point. The AGC will still work on very strong signals. But now what we've done is we've reduced the, your local S6 noise level down to similar level to the noise floor of the receiver. We've reduced that signal, but it's still not a problem to copy because it's still well above noise. That makes listening much more comfortable. Now we're going to do something that we used to do in days gone by, and that is ride in the RF gain control. We're going to actually manually adjust that RF gain control because conditions are never stable on the radio so as well as noise background noise we've also got the uh, fading in and out of signals so I'm going to just show you here if I can just a section where I'm riding the RF gain control to try and reduce the noise um, in between pauses in speech so let me just uh, turn the gain up here and you can listen to the effect. Uh, they offered me to add a brand new 990 which, which was just coming on the market at that point, so it's okay. Uh, it was one of the first 990s in the UK. And, um, and then, of course, uh, I used to use it when I was uh, living at home. I'd go on uh, whatever band, mainly uh, 20 meters at that point. And uh, again, working around the world because at home, when I was living with parents. Really... So I hope that gives you the basic idea. Also, make sure that you haven't got the RF preamp uh, switched in because you only really need that probably on the, uh, the really high bands like 15 and 10 meters and you may not need it at all. And also try switching in the attenuator because there's no point in amplifying noise and that's basic principle. Don't amplify noise. It doesn't do uh, anybody any good. It just creates a bit of discomfort when you're listening to the radio. So I hope I've got the message through there. Anyway, thank you for watching this video. Now, before I go, we've got some one or two special offers on, which I'm just going to put on the screen now, which may interest you. Um, we're trying to make some room in our warehouse. It's bulging at the moment. And uh, so we've one or two things which, may, which are amateur radio orientated, which may interest you. So just take a look at these, uh, these clearance um, items that we've got at the moment on offer. And that really is now the end of the video. So thanks for watching. You take care. And don't forget, we've got a wide range of products. Give ourselves, guys, a call if you want to do a deal. And in the meantime, enjoy your ham radio. And of course, I'll see you, as usual, in the next video. Bye.